Hey guys, Eric here of Pioneer Survival Company. Uh, I'm out here enjoying the weather. It's nice, uh, eh, about 90 degree day actually. So it's hot, but not too bad. Uh, out here in central Ohio. Uh, I thought it'd be a great time to go ahead and do a quick review on some gear that our friends over at Helicon Tech sent us. Uh, the backpack is not going to be part of the review today. However, this review is coming and I highly endorse this backpack. This thing is amazing. What we're going to be reviewing today is the shirt I'm currently wearing and the pants that I have on. These things are just jam-packed with features. Uh, I'm just going to go over all of the features in detail, give you a quick overview of how they perform down the field and just my general opinion of them. Stay tuned, I'll get that review out to you. All right guys, so I just got back up to the house, uh, switched out of these clothes so uh, I could do a a little more in depth and uh, show you some of the features without, you know, having to zoom in on my crotch and put everybody through that torture. Nobody wants to see that. Uh, so the first thing we're going to uh, go over here is the hybrid Outback pants. They are very rugged, but lightweight and comfortable. Uh, I've had absolutely no problems just working, you know, getting down on my hands and knees, doing bow drill fires. Uh, they're very just, I guess, kind of stretchy material. Uh, they're made out of uh, Dura canvas and Dura stretch material. Uh, if you're not familiar with Dura stretch, it's ex a really, uh, I guess, abrasion resistant material and stretchy. So that kind of, you know, that's just what allows you to stretch and bend more freely. Dura canvas is also very light, uh, a strong material. Uh, one of the coolest features about Dura Canvas is it's wax impregnable. So you can actually uh, give this these pants a wax treatment and it makes them fully waterproof. Uh, it comes with a Teflon coating on it from the factory and that uh, it makes it water resistant, uh, not fully waterproof obviously. Uh, and it also protects against stains and things like that, uh, which is actually very important because I have a tendency of trashing my clothes while I'm out and these things just wash right clean every time. Uh, these bad boys have YKK zippers on, let's see, uh, let's, uh, inner pockets. Uh, I don't know if you can, probably won't be able to see this, but inside the knees right here, uh, if you go from the inside, it's got pockets in there to put low profile knee pads, uh, which is very nice, again, if you're down on the ground cutting wood or going bow drill fires, kind of takes some of the abuse off your knees. Let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, another nice feature, the front pockets, uh, the edges of them are reinforced, so you can put a knife in there and not just destroy the sides of your pockets here. So that's a really nice feature. Um, your knife isn't getting caught on that all the time and tearing up the edges so I enjoy that uh, let's see last thing I'm probably missing a few things uh, the last thing that I like about this or these pants uh, are the adjustable cuffs on the bottom um, you know if you're walking through just mud or snow or crossing a river anything like that it's just nice to be able to kind of pull these up and get them up above your boot a little bit so you're not you know, getting all that crud and yuck on it from the outdoors. Uh, it's got nice, nice deep side pockets here. Uh, a smaller pocket where you can, I don't know, maybe throw some lighters, compass, something like that, ferro rod, whatever. Uh, the one thing it took a little while for me to get used to, uh, they don't actually have a back pocket like you'd throw a wallet or something in. Uh, these pockets kind of go down more to s more of the side of your leg. Um, I didn't like it when I first tried them. However, it really grew on me because when I'm setting down, I don't have that big just lump in the back of my butt. So yeah, I mean, that actually works really well for me. Uh, I have no complaints about these at all. These things are just amazing. 
I've put these through some abuse. I've walked through just woods and fields full of briars and thorns. And surprisingly enough, I don't have a stain on these that I can see. Uh, I don't have any snags or anything. Uh, I'm quite impressed by that considering just how lightweight and thin these are. And I haven't destroyed these yet. So that really says something about the durability of these pants. Let me go ahead and switch these pants out for the shirt next. And we'll start the review on that. Uh, once again, these were the hybrid Outback pants made by Helicontext. All right, got the uh, Outback pants switched out with the Helicontext Defender MK2 Pilgrim. That's Defender MK2 Pilgrim. <laughs> kind of a tongue twister, you say it too quick. Uh, this one also, uh, I take that back, it's not also made of the same material. This one's actually made from DuPont Serona, if I'm saying that correct. Uh, I had to look up to find the details about that, so I'm just gonna read off this paper real quick uh, just to tell you a little bit about the DuPont Serona. Um, it's a very soft, yet surprisingly strong material. Uh, I can't attest to that. Shirt feels amazing, nice and soft. I haven't been able to destroy it, much like the pants, so. That's definitely a plus there. Uh, it's also stain resistant. And an interesting thing about uh, this shirt, it's actually made from a corn glucose derivative. Uh, so, you know, it's a natural resource. We're not running out of those. We can grow it back, keep on making shirts. This has actually earned it the blue sign badge, which basically just means, uh, there's train in the background. Uh, it basically just means that it has a high level of consumer safety and a minimal impact on people and the environment. Uh, just like the pants, this shirt comes with, let's see, where's it at? YK, YKK zippers on the inner breast pockets, which I really like. You can zip these. Uh, they've got mesh in there, so it kind of allows the shirt to breathe a bit more, even though that's very breathable material. Uh, perfect for sliding maps or you know things like that in there. You also have uh, the front breast pockets. Those it takes pretty much my whole hand inside that. So uh, very big pockets there. That's nice. Uh, let's see. What's some other facts about this? It, oh, odor resistant. Let me tell you, <laughs> this thing works. Uh, the last trip I was out on, I wore this outfit for, well, I was out for three days, but the ride home, I still had it on. So about three and a half days, uh, I was still smelling pretty good. Uh, that's very unusual after not having a shower for about three and a half days. So definitely give it props for that. Uh, it is also UPF uh, 50, I believe. Let me look real quick, just to make sure. Yeah, UPF 50. So uh, it, that's similar to like, you know, sunscreen where you wear it. Uh, it blocks the sunlight, keeps you from getting sunburned. Uh, definitely a great thing to have when you're out in the woods or hiking through fields, things like that. Uh, you just don't want to get sunburned while you're out there. Uh, you know, once again, this is just another great product by Helicon Techs. It's the uh, Defender MK2 Pilgrim. And I would highly recommend this. Uh, Actually, just the whole outfit here, the uh, you know Defender MK2 Pilgrim shirt and the hybrid Outback pants, uh, they just go well with each other. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite outfits uh, I have at this point. I, I've been wearing it around before, uh, before I made the video. I wanted to actually wear it out in the field and really put it through some abuse. So, you know, it's not just me saying, hey, this thing's awesome. No, I... I've tried this out. I've abused it, wore it through the rain, got it muddy, and you know, it, it holds up to its reputation. This is definitely, they've got some good products here. Uh, I would definitely recommend people check them out. Uh, yeah, I, I can't think of really anything bad to say about these. All right, well, I think that just about wraps everything up. Uh, you know, really, this is just 
a great product. It's really well made and it just works for me. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the products or anything else that we've done reviews on, feel free to go ahead and send us an email at pioneersurvivalcompany at gmail.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Pioneer Survival Company. We also have other review videos and demonstration videos along with articles that we have wrote. You can check those out at pioneersurvivalcompany.com. Thanks for watching, and remember, journey past your limits.